All right, so a lot of you have been asking me, hey, Mr. 4K Upscaler, what about 720p broadcast to 4K? Because majority of the cables are 720p upscaled to 1080p, and then from upscale 1080p, they go up to upscale to 4K. So when you're watching a digital scrambled cable signal, you're really not getting the benefit of what your 4K TV can do because you're not getting a really good source. So because you're not getting a really good source, what can we do to adjust the picture settings so it looks a bit better on your 4K TV? Also, remember what I'm going to show you here. This is for Samsung. Q8FN. I will also do a TCL R617 because I know majority of you have uh, R617 and also majority of you have KS8000 and Sony X900E. Okay, but this is for Q8FN because people have been asking me, hey, uh, could you go ahead and, and do a, a picture settings for scrambled digital cable? All right, I guess it's going to be a Wolf Blitzer. Sorry, Wolf Blitzer, I got to put you in there. I'm just using this channel, not because of any of my political views. I don't advertise my political views. I'm neither left or right or center. I'm not going to tell you what I am. Uh, this has nothing to do with political views. This is just me using uh, News Network so I can go ahead and give you something to showcase while I'm showing you the picture settings that I'm using. Okay, so if you type something in the comment section regarding political views, you will be blocked and removed. Just giving you a warning. I don't allow any political views being uh, written on my channel, okay? If you come with politics, be prepared to be blocked. It's just the way my rules are. I don't tolerate that. Now, having said that, let me go ahead and let me uh, show you my picture settings for digital cable. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Let me show you what I'm basically using here. All right, for the purpose of this, we're going to use a different preset. We're going to use a standard standard preset. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move the brightness to zero. Uh, backlit, we're going to move it down to 40, 43. Contrast at 43 as well. Remember, we're not using HDR, so there's no reason for me to uh, exceed my backlit or to exceed my contrast. Okay, so this is why I'm moving it to 43 on both contrast and backlit. Brightness, it's always at balanced default. Sharpness, we can move this up. I would suggest for scrambled digital cable, you do want to move this to 10. Because you're already getting a really bad signal. You're, I mean, 720p upscale to 1080p, or better yet, 720p upscaled to 4K or 1080 interlace I upscaled to 4K. People out there who are watching a digital cable, remember, you're not getting a really good source. You're getting either 720p or 1080i interlace. In case you didn't know. So sharpness to 10. Color. We're going to move the color to uh, 25. And then uh, we're going to go down here. This is the important part. You want to use this digital clean view. This is something you want to leave on automatic all the time. Especially when you're watching TVs. This is a very important part right here. You want to do that. What this basically does, this helps smoothen out that uh, noise that you might be getting from 720p or 1080i interlace. Some channels, they use 1080i, some use 720p for broadcast. Okay. Auto mo motion plus settings, since you're going to be watching sports, uh, I would keep it an automatic, honestly. Or if you want to, you can use Mind. You can use Mind right here, which is uh, 4 and 8. 4 and 8, Blur Reduction 8 and Judder Reduction 4. I highly recommend that you do this. Try this. And then 
Local dimming, you want to keep this at high at all times. You don't want to leave this low. That's the whole reason why you got this TV. Contrast enhancer, this is a bit tricky. Uh, I would leave it at low for the, uh, for the scrambled digital cable signals. You don't need this because you're not going to be using HDR. There's really no reason for you to be using a contrast enhancer here. Just leave it at low. And the color tone should be in standard. Warm 1 and Warm 2, this is for the movies. I always say to people, if you want to use Warm 1, use it for the movies. Standard, it's perfect for, it's ideal for watching digital cable programming. So leave it at standard. And you don't want to mess around with the gamma, color space. Uh, because we're not using HDR here, you can keep the color space here at uh, automatic if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. I think you're still going to get uh, a better color. Like if you look at the Manchester United, when you keep the native, you just get much better color, in my opinion. If you look like the Manchester United, it just looks more colorful. You get a little bit of extra color. So this is a personal preference. If you want to use automatic, that's fine. I would still suggest that you use native so you can get a little bit of that color pop on the digital cable right here. So keep that at native. So that's pretty much uh, what I'm using here for digital scrambled cable stuff. For those of you who watch a lot of cable, I'm pretty sure you guys do. Now, if you have an OLED, this is a no-no. If you pause this like this, uh, you got to be careful. You don't want to get that retention. You don't want to get that burn in. So how does it look? Look, guys, here's the deal. Uh, I know this has been requested of me. There were some uh, subscribers that have been asking me for this for a long time. Uh, this is for Q8FN, Okay. Uh, every TV will have a different settings because they're different panels, uh, different color measurement, different peak brightness, different local dimming. Uh, they're different. Okay, all of these televisions that have different panels and they have different uh, technology built inside of it. So remember, this will only work for Q8FN or Q9FN. This will not necessarily work for your TCL or your KSA 1000, uh, you're welcome to try it, but that's why I'm going to do separate videos for TCL, KSA 1000, and Sony X900E. Remember, this is only for QLED Samsung Q8FN. All right, so I really want to emphasize that you only use this for this television. Other than that, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one. This was really by a highly demand request. People have been requesting of me to do this. So here you go. There you have it. I'll have TCL, Samsung, and Sony do some other time when I get a chance. Thank you guys. And happy holidays. Cheers. Drive safe out there. Be careful.